The food ventures of Soy are powered by our patrons. To become a patron, click the patron link in the description box. Thanks, patrons, for helping to write Soy. All right, guys, welcome back to Stuck on an Island, where I'm stuck with you and we are always smiling. So, in today's video, we have some good news and then, unfortunately, we have some bad news. Which one do you want first? Bad news, right? Makes sense. Okay. Let's just get to the chase. So the fact of the matter is Jaylee left me. I don't know a lot of you guys might have been seeing it in the previous videos where you haven't been seeing her and you guys would not be any further from the truth. <laughs> Technically, yes, Jilly is now away at the moment. She'll be back pretty soon. And for the Jilly diehard fans, feel free to keep dropping in the comments. Where is Jilly? I just will not be responding to them, but she'll be back in the videos pretty soon. However, we do have some good news for those who love the drama, I guess, and that is going to be... You see, I've always wanted to travel around the coast of Jamaica, trying all the street foods, meeting good people along the way, and doing it all living in my car. That's probably as real of a Jamaica as you will ever see. And guess what? I'm taking you guys with me. To adventure along the coast, I traveled across the island towards St. Mary. And something I noticed quite often on this journey is that I'll see Jamaica as a whole different place when I slow down. All right, guys, so we finally made it out here in Friendship Gap. To be honest, I've passed this place several times, but today is going to be the first time or probably the second time that I actually stop out here and try to get some breakfast. So one of the first things that I found out here is peanut porridge. That is like something that is super popular here in Jamaica, especially in the morning. All right, here you go. Wow, guys, I had a small little taste off my finger a while ago and it is they can tell it's a peanut porridge, it's like it's really thick. They can see like all the stuff in there, you can see like the peanut and stuff. But let's have like a real proper bite and see. Yeah, for me this is what you're looking for in a peanut porridge, it's really good. Mmm. <laughs> Bombard. <laughs> I can't believe I've always been driving past here and kind of counted it out a little bit. But to be honest, heading from Kingston, this is one of the very first stops that you can actually get some real food, whether it's like jerk chicken or you know porridge or I think it's mainly soup around here. I'm gonna try some of the soup as well today. But so far this peanut porridge is really good. And if you grew up in Jamaica, you know porridge has been a staple dish for us for many years. It is one of the reasons why the girls are strong. I can't say this enough, this porridge is perfect, it's like the right amount of thickness, it's not too watery, it's not too thick, and it's not too sweet either, I love that. Jano. Wow, that was freaking awesome. Whew. Guys, let me just say that is like one of the most Jamaican breakfast experiences that you can have. You can taste the, the cinnamon, the coconut milk, and definitely you know that it's a peanut porridge. But anyway, I'm going to be heading over to this store really quick because they have something else on the menu, which is also peanut, which I've never tried before. I'm going to try that right now. All right. So when I first stopped here this morning, I saw this stop here and the owner for the stall, the kind of probably did not worry about me because I was just smiling. But she had something on the menu which I found super interesting was a chicken foot soup with peanuts. Like I've never seen anything like that before. I've heard of it, but I've definitely not tried it. So 
we're gonna try that at the moment and what's cool as well like right at the front window we actually see sprats sprat is something i don't know if you guys ever read this book called sprat morrison if you went to high school yeah that book I always heard about sprats and it sounds super delicious we had something like that out in ghana so i'm gonna try that as well so some sprats with some it seems like some bami so we're gonna try that cow skin soup with the peanuts and see, see the 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 what is that as a cock <laughs> approves all right my friend medea so what what would you say is like the the hot thing from your stuff red pea soup, red pea soup. Oh my god, I've had that so many times. What about the cow skin soup with the, the peanut? It's the same one. It's the red pea soup. Oh, the same thing? Yeah, well, the uh, cow skin chicken to peanuts. Yeah. Everything is in one pot. I want to start with that first. 350, 400. Yo, these cups bring me all the way back. Them just look super old school. And if you guys remember those cups back in the day with the, the paper handles as well? Oh my gosh. All right, I'm going to try the, three, the 350 one and let's see how that is. Yo, that soup yeah, look rich, richer than Bill Gates. Watch it. Wow. So the question is, did you make this yourself or is your mommy make it? I make you. I did. You did? Mm -hmm. eh? How long you been doing this? Over seven years. Over seven years. Mm -hmm. All right, seven is a lucky number, you know. <laughs> we love that. So the peanuts in there, we can actually see the peanuts, eh? Mhm. Mm wow. So what inspired the addition of peanuts to the dish? Is it something that is known in Saint, in like Saint Mary French Gap? Yes. Frenchman's Gap? Friendship, Friendship Gap. Gap? Yes. Wow. It's well be known here. Very popular by customers. Very Always popular. Been asking for it. Yes. So I know a man always talk about peanut and them talk about them strong. <laughs> them talk about that too? Yes. A, a, a lot. trouble. <laughs> trouble. Oh gosh. You're the funny spot, you know. <laughs> It looks it looks good already. Thickness of the soup is great. But I say in a long light latter line. I love that. Is it? Look at when I read cheese. Please. One year? Yeah. Mm. yeah. No dumpling now them something there, yeah? Soup? soup, yeah. You want it? Yeah man, can put piece of me. Mm -hmm. So now one month. I mean alone it's a shine pan. Hey yo, got me alone, Mr. Abal. You know? yep, yep, so you're looking somebody? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like, I like this. I know you don't believe Sammy Cookie, but I'm not. No, not yet. I see my uncle did this, so I'm just did this, so I don't want to kill him. You want to come to me? You read the soup? You say, I'm happy to stop here. But I'm always up here. Vibes. Long time, no come here. How much? 350. Mm. My mother ain't good, you know. Probably. Alright. We get changed. Yeah, man, it's alright. Alright. All the cow skin. Mine, see. Oh, me lock it out. I'm afraid I can't down. Who are we in for something? See, in Jamaica, enough people are walk around with people, man and people, woman. So, I have to lock up the camera a lot of the times. Alright. But guys, I've tried so many different soups. I mean, they're all good, but this one is just unique. You know that this one comes from Friendship Gap. Like you said with the peanuts, I thought I'd be getting like some kind of crunchiness on the peanuts, but you're not, they're pressured out. It, the peanut tastes almost like the peas them itself, you know? It is, uh, it's really good. It is a really, really, really good soup. If you're passing through Friendship Gap, make sure that you stop at this a liquor red shop. What we call a shop? Mama Bev. So your mom was the one who started it and then yes, you come up and set up everything. Sister. And you and your sister. Mm -hmm. Yo, trust me. I really respect the fact that you're keeping her recipes and the food. Yeah, yeah super important, man. Yeah. Trust me, if you never taste good, but I'm dumb. <laughs> so, these are young, strong body girl. Yeah? <laughs> you can see that. Cool? But you show me your hand like you say, you're in the coconut stem. Yeah, greater than naturally. So in a dish right now, a coconut? Yeah, natural coconut. Natural coconut. Natural native coconut. Wow. Guys, nah, go lie. I don't even wear nails. See? Yeah, naturally greater than Oh, it's starting now. 
This business started over 40 years. My mother has been here over 40 years. Over 40 years. Over 40 years. Um, she started out with a little Maggie umbrella, a little yellow Maggie umbrella. We never mm -hmm. had this. We had this 10 years now since we upgraded to this. She started with just only corn, corn and pumpkin soup. Okay. And a friend of hers come to her one day and said to her, why don't you try red pea soup? I put peanuts in it and chicken put on for the skin. And she said, no, never try it. And that's so she started off. So she started off kind of slow, but now with the peanut soup, trust me, it's about sky high. People from all over the world come recommend it, taste it, love it. Trust me, I can tell why it's really, really, really good. I think anybody that likes soup will definitely appreciate this. Yeah, we can't talk, man. 250 and 3. Prime seal, not even a carcass. So, before we were rudely interrupted by your hungry belly customers, because <laughs> clearly they love your thing. Alright, so you're saying that um, you and your sister are doing this, took over from your mom and the, the piece. No, my soup. mom is not fully out of the business as yet. Okay. She's still here in the business. Mm -hmm. It's just that we'll give her more time to rest. Makes sense. Yeah. Cool. So. Have you like added anything to the menu as you know a newcomer coming into the business or improved no. anything or you just no. keep it traditional? Just traditional. Traditional. Most people, most customers use the traditional soup that she's been cooking for years. Makes sense. So we don't want to gash away the traditional soup, upgrade and then we we'll lose our customers. So we we'll just sense. continue with the traditional one. Obviously it's working. People love it. People love it. Yes they do. Yeah. I realize some persons though them kinda of skeptic when they hear the peanut at the even. first time, but yes. when they try it one time. They love yeah, my name get Thai, like so a stew piece. My job is to convince the customers that the peanut is not that harmful. Yeah. So in their mind, I say, peanut, mm, True. this and that belly work. You know, I say, no, the trial is the tip of it. Then they can tell me. Nice. So I always try to convince the customers to try it. When they, they, they don't say they want it, they try to go to the soup. Then our next friend try the peanut. They must say, like me the peanut one. So you know, we typical Jamaicans, yeah. uh, overall, human beings, we just ready at That's true. Ready true. At and time's kind of hard still, you know. Yes. Time's really hard, so some people don't really want to try something and not like it. Exactly. Now, speaking of hard time, in here we have a Sprat yes. and Bami, which I've already ordered, and I got a budget deal, which is what? $550. That was for everything, but everything. how much did the Sprat itself? How much you pay for Sprat? $200. $200, so I get two Sprat and one piece of and Bami. One piece of Bami. When you say piece of Bami, you go break off a piece right there and get one. Half a slice. Half a slice. Yes. Run it now. Let me try this now and see. So it's, it's gonna come with. I see some, like some pickles. That like Escovich pickle. Yes, I actually had two. Yeah. But a customer was passing by yesterday. Actually, buy the other one. I don't like that person. <laughs> oh God, I'm so sorry about that. They buy it. Because it's very nice. Okay, as you can see, the design of the carrot and everything in there. So it was very beautiful. Because it's perfect. But the customer says she can't lift it because she'll go back to work see you and she not lift it. I like so that. I have to just sell her it. I'm sorry, I have to just give it to her. I love how you're flexible because even a while ago I realized, you know, like you mentioned about the soup and you know. Yes. You try to make people try some so they can get a part of. Yes, I have to. Wow. The things here go broke off piece of it, you know. Are the whole of this for me? Yeah. The two bills? Mm hmm. Wow. All this is yours. $200. Love to see. Tell me how you do the bami dough. Did you soak it in okay, water or coconut what I milk? Did, what, well, I did not prepare the bami and the sprat. My mother actually did that. Mm -hmm. So what she do is she soak the bami in little sugar and water. The food Jamaican style, just sugar water. Mm -hmm. And then she fry it before she fry the sprat. So we can't fry the bami after the sprat because the sprat would have the, the bami would have the sprat taste. Yeah. So we fry it before to get the natural cassava taste. Nice. And then the sprat fry after. Wow. All right, time to dig in. So we have a, a local celebrity. <laughs> Who is here? Here one man. Who there so? I go on peeps. I passed you and see the boss. Stop on and go and enjoy some food. Yeah, he mentioned a while ago saying you normally get fruits from. Yeah man, right over the store. But you never, you never try food out as a before. No, no. Same thing like me. Like I mentioned, I always pass, but this is my first, but my second time really. Okay. I focus on the food and the food. Mm. <laughs> Are they my fish you catch out that sea? No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, you know the, the, the soup man right at the police station right so? yeah. uh, around uh, Chesterton? Mm -hmm. Yeah man, this is my stuff. This is my stuff. Oh, yeah, right. man, I want to leave all of it. Yeah man. So, man. we have a Sprat. It's, it's, it's nothing compared to my bread you normally catch, but this is what it's intended to be. It's supposed to be very, very small. The bones are supposed to be true, but you're supposed to be able to eat 
basically everything on the fish. So, yeah, and super crunchy. So, I'm gonna try it. Mm hmm. Nice and crunchy for the pickle. I think the pickle would have been what would have really yes. set it off. The pickle would have been the one that really set the piece. But in terms of texture, it's on point. No, I'm always skeptical. Team <laughs> <laughs> gun shoot different. Yes, it does. <laughs> I'm always skeptical. You know, not really skeptical, but when you see the food in those boxes, that is a traditional way that way back in the day people should just make these glass boxes, put the food in there, and you will try it. But trust me, this tastes really fresh. It's still crispy. The meat part is tender. Yo. <laughs> All in Jamaica, but this is really good. Alright, so you bummy. Hey, the sugar and water thing there. Yo, it's nice. Is that traditional or is it something that does your mother do? It's traditional. Wow. Oh. She growing up on it. So normally, you know, when they eat it, Bobby, mm -hmm. you can get this. Uh, you like to like with steamed fish. So you steam the Bobby in a coconut juice with the fish. Mm -hmm. So in order to keep the Bobby. You know, so everybody can get a good eat off of it. Now, if we use coconut milk or lasco, mm -hmm. um, flavored lasco, mm -hmm. it's gonna give a soggy, soggy taste, a soggy, very soggy taste. Yeah, yeah. So it's gonna be yeah. so soggy, just fluffy. So, with the sugar and water, I keep it, bind it together, I keep all the agents bind it together. Mm -hmm. So, when I get it, you get a crispy taste. The reason why I ask is I made bummy a couple of times and mm, that one, the sugar and water, it makes sense. I, I could eat this by itself. Yes, I can. Mm -hmm. So, normally, bami is made with cassava, which is have that normally a kind of fermented type of feel to it. But this one, it is crispy on the outside, bready on the inside, a little bit of a gummy type of feel on the inside, and then that nice little sweetness from the sugar and water really nice and again even though it's in a glass box it tastes like it met this man and this man in yes, it does. exactly most persons are normally afraid because they say you are overnight things but this is met this morning you have to make it every morning you can get for the man if you sell overnight mm -hmm. by later i don't buy a probably can get the pizza really But you might go eat the soup like I first time I eat it, I you know. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to eat the last week too. The soup that? Same red piece. Same red piece. Oh, yeah. I only soup and drink. The only thing I know, man. I was going to say every week I drink the soup, so. Soup, soup up, right. man, daddy. I never use, I never use a spoon, now. So I don't know if she give me a spoon for you, brother. <laughs> Oh. Right, man. Hey, that. Any Straight. day going. You see it. Any time I pass to the junction, you have to stop and say, hey, that. Look Straight. on it. National. Oh. Never tell a lie. Hey, that. Say, people, they wouldn't stop killing really because food love affair. <laughs> but you were talking about the pickle. Yes. Um, so I tried the fish a while ago, mm -hmm. and like I said, the texture of it, very fresh. Enjoyed that about it. Crispy okay. and nice. If you did have a pickle, make sure you always have an extra buckle because. No people can buy it. Yeah. Well, what we call this stop now is it poochie stop? No, you're a poochie. Yes, mm -hmm. well, my mother is Miss Mama Bear. Miss Mama Bear, yes. And you see, I always love hearing the name Poochie. <laughs> <laughs> it's such an interesting name, it's such an affectionate name. But, um, this is Mama Bear, yeah. nice little red shop out here. Mm -hmm. So far, food has been super amazing. I really wish I could eat more, but we have more stops to go to. So it was a pleasure talking to you. Pleasure and this morning, we'll buy a panic. You see, I say, 
and she make it soup here. Show them and them a great a coconut. Yeah. No fear, no spoilers. Woman who do her thing. All right, so we're about to head out, and um, again, thank you. The food was amazing. So now we are making a slow crawl into the town of Anato Bay. Now Anato Bay is a town in St. Mary which was once called Guia Guyata by the Tainos. And basically what the name is off of is the Anato trees which were abundant in the area. It was at one point a port but definitely isn't one anymore. And um, driving through here I mean, it's not really a lot of people that you are seeing. I think somewhere around in the 90s when they did a census, it was somewhere around 6,000 people. Now, 2023, I don't know, probably they have tripled or quadrupled, but still, not a lot of people. Um, hopefully, well, honestly, I've passed through here a couple of times and I've never really seen anything quite interesting food related. I'll definitely still look about and see what I can find, but yeah. Yeah, you can see how small the town is with just how crammed the roads are. It's, it's crazy. Actually, I do see a little food stall over there, but yeah, it's nothing too impressive. And I'm really not hungry at the moment, so it really takes something very special for me to pull over and stop. So we just left out of Anato Bay just now. I'm gonna get lucky. I'm gonna actually find one of my favorite snacks to find on the road. And to be honest, you kind of have to be skeptical about it because not all the time them fresh, but I see the rats with them on there and them look like them are the real deal. So you have a pepper? Some pepper shrimp? Pepper shrimp. All right, we're definitely gonna go hold some of the pepper shrimp really quick because, yeah, it's a nice little roadside snack. So them are the last one you have? Yeah. Them look fresh and nice. I catch a catch them and I just buy them and buy deal them. Buy the farm place. Farm place, yeah. nice. And you also have sea moss. Yeah, good. Barbie sea moss. How much you say the pepper shrimp for? Three dollars. Three dollars? Yeah. Alright, I'm going to take one of them burgers from you. Yeah. Respect. That means you know you make this then? Yeah, I make it. Nice though. I prefer these ones. It's um, very soft shelled. I find the meat is always a little bit sweet. And then the spiciness on this is good. Guys, Jamaican people are so afraid of cameras. I am record I'm record era, era, era. Nobody say nothing. Go make nobody know say I say you're there. Alright, explain to me. Yes, I have two different types of Irish moss. Guys, so many options, but you might have heard about Irish moss. It is a superfood and when you're around this area, you will see them in the raw farm, already blended up and stuff. But we're gonna go with her preferred one. 
I said to her, I said, yo, she knows, she should tell her man them about it. She said, I said, what do you know about her man them? So, yeah, I'll go with this one. What the cost? What the cost? Hey, what? Come here. Anyway, see one of them, she are calling Nathan. <laughs> so, you know, honestly, I think this is probably one of the first times I've ever drunk Irish wash. Probably the ones in the can, which I never really quite like. I've been drunk something like this already before, but I like this. This is good. This make them strong. <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> wow. Well, that was pretty interesting. Like, we've tried so much different things so far, but I think I already know where my next stop is gonna be. That's gonna be out by Melissa's. I've gone to her probably like two or three times, but I am certain that I'm gonna find a pretty good street food dinner tonight. And then I'll try to find somewhere along there where I can sleep for the night. Because like I said, it's going to be a very slow crawl. I'm not in any rush. I just want to find all the interesting stuff. But so far, I'm pretty full. And later on, I'll show you guys what my whole setup is like back there. Anyway, let's head on the road. If you travel across Jamaica, swimwear is a travel essential with all the rivers and beaches on the island. Bikini Bottoms is ready to be your travel companion. Check out their IG page for your bikini if you ever get stuck on the island. All right, fingers crossed that um I found where we are going to catch for the night. It does seem like it's kind of like a, I don't know if it's like a coconut farm on the beach type of thing. I have no clue, but hopefully we can catch here tonight. And yeah, right now I'm going to head to Melissa's and I don't want it to be too late when I get there. And you know, vibe with her for a little bit and see what she has on the menu for my early dinner. Cause it is like, it's 4 14 p.m. right now am i hungry no <laughs> but uh we're gonna go there and see what's up So I'm gonna see in a shop. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So this is my probably fourth time coming here. Probably filmed it two or three times, but every time I come here, there's something different. Um, usually we have jerk chicken or jerk pork, but today I'm gonna have something completely different. There's uh, I think it's cow head and beans or something like that and fried chicken. So. I'm gonna try that and probably with some bread food and thing. Now, what I wanted to say to you guys is every time I come here, there is some form of upgrade. Mel was telling me like she was having a little bit of a, you know, thing with the inspectors, but every time they say she needs to upgrade something, she gets it done. So I'm happy to see that. I'm really happy to see that because, in all fairness, on this journey out here, there is really not a lot of good food stops and this is definitely one of them so really happy to see that she's upgrading consistently and you know making her thing better so oh yeah and the coolest part around the back there's actually now a table so i'm gonna sit back there and you know take in some of the sea breeze which is really what this adventure is about just staying very close to the coastal parts and enjoying real raw jamaica anyway 
Let's go grab our food. I, I, I never know if she did done or then I got she start eat her to the food she eat Yes, so who are for the food that I want to well, baby, and... One flat. Alright, where is it up now? Oh, so we have some cow head and beans, some jerk pork, wow, some roast breadfruits, some steamed veg, and some good old rice and peas. The cow head and beans like it, I go nice. Mm -mm. Is your mother missing how long ago that was in here? Yes. She was here. Hey, jerk what the jerk that? chicken as usual? You know, say Melissa have it already, you know. Yes. You know what time it is. Oh God, that look good. And we have a nice customer here. I'll support me. Mr. 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 Chisholm. Mr. Chisholm. All right, yes. all right. He's a very good man. I have some stew chicken as well in the pot here. Yeah. Yeah. And get a little stew. What you know is a, is a, is a cow head. I have to get a chance that, yes, you know? Yes, right at both me port now. Right yeah, man. The I don't really see a lot of people do that, you know? Yeah. I don't see a lot of people do that dish. Yes. Cow head. Most people just do fried chicken and. You know that me always and me always do my cow head jerk for the month. More time because sometimes I don't really get it for the basis. Yeah. But at least me get it when me can do it. Yeah man. Do it right, do it. Not one thing. We get no support to your video. Because really? No people come here and then tell us and ask them for YouTube and stuff. So we appreciate it and we get more of a support. Uh, some foreigner come here. Love when you that. want five one of them come here with and then could find out and then say there's search please and then say no man he's not there so because he's not like, when I see the seaside yeah. and when I see and Mr. Ace when he looking to go I guess station in house and then say you're gonna right across here. Yeah, yeah we and love that. He said boy they're more that trip when she make me find I said no man where we find that place. Yeah. And she come and she get the swims and kung soup and she feels so nice. Yeah. Love that. Yeah, man. So she love it man. And she come and one next one, come on again. Yeah. Yeah, man, yeah, me never use man. Yeah, man, I have a puppy, I have a puppy like everybody. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, if I go party again, me never bunny man from fifth page. Yeah, man. Yes, so yeah, eh? Yeah. 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 Enough people me tell to, and then go and sleep, so then come, come, you know? Right. And when they come, they say, boy, they see where the matter is going to happen because when they come out, they come out and they see what they have. And she gets food and soup and yeah. Yeah. So she yeah, enjoys. Yeah, a real deal. Yes. I uh, love flow, that. Flo then come and buy because they say they want to do some advertising and so on. They come and support. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. <laughs> Alright, so this is awesome. Being able to look off and see the ocean this is my very first time eating back here usually when i come here it's just normally to the side and so so it looks like that table is here now try this out covid Something about jerk pork skin. <laughs> you eat rice. <laughs> See if you eat rice. Uh, beans. Hey. You know me. I was video calling. I don't know video calling. Uh huh. Oh, me, you know me. I say. Me just say all the say boy, Jilly, me really miss you. Like me talk to myself. Are you call her? <laughs> video call. Her. So 
got to park up on the beach basically I'm under like um, an almond tree at the moment it is now 6.33 it's a little bit late because I do feel the sand is coming down so I need to get into the van and have myself sorted out but um, I was just talking to Jilly how I'm feeling right now I won't lie I do feel a little bit sad which I kind of predicted to be honest because whenever you're traveling alone especially when you're accustomed to you know having company or not doing something as brave or as daring as this you know being out here for numerous days living in your van and you know you're gonna have that moment of unfamiliarity but for me this is always has been like a documentation of my life so the older me <laughs> will look back and be like yo dude you were crazy and like I would say I kind of already expected this I kind of already expected at the end of the day to have this kind of a, a downness but it's life at the end of the day a night <laughs> so yeah um, I don't think I'm going to be showering tonight because I do feel a little bit um, apprehensive. I, I, I feel kind of worried out at the moment. This is not a norm for me just living out of my van like this and just picking a spot on the side of the road. So I'll definitely take a shower tomorrow. Um, how I'm parked up, I'm parked between like trees so I'll kind of use that as a, you know, a way to kind of block the line of sight. I'll bait in my boxes as well. So, plan is in the morning, I'll wake up early, take a swim, um, and then take a shower. And that should be good. What I always wanted to show as well is the real Jamaica. The real Jamaica has different types of beaches on the tourism board type of advertisements or you know certain vlogs. You're gonna always see like white sandy beaches, but there are beaches like this with just you know rocks and stuff like that. But they all share their own types of beauty. Anyway, I'm going to catch up with you guys when I get into the van and then I guess we will end the video and we will head out for day two. So I just thought I'd show you guys the beautiful couple over there. It's cool. They just parked up on the side of the beach and just been here for a little bit enjoying Jamaica. If you love this video, you're definitely gonna love this next one. But until next time, remember these three things love, nature, and adaptation. And always remember to keep the link. <laughs>